sports betting brother and hey bring it up and thanks for stopping by here at sportsbetuniversity.com where we help beginner and struggling sports bettors learn to bet like a sharp and we cover a lot of things in our courses and our classes and one thing that we thought we would do i think it's really going to be kind of interesting is do a study on what works you know we have market analytics tools we have computer generated system picks uh we have handicapping services. You have all the information and a ton of information out there. And so we're going to do a 30-day, I guess, study of what works the best, what might work best for you. We're going to cover it in sort of three areas. One of them is the markets tools, such as Odds Jam and the Wolfline.com. We're also going to get into the simulation picks, the computer simulations, and see how they do. And uh, also the handicapping services. We have access to over 25 of the top handicapping services, not their free picks. We have access to their five unit, 10 unit, 10 dime pick of the day, that kind of thing. So it's going to be interesting to compare and contrast all the different methods and the success rate and the profitability of all these different tools. So I hope you tune in every day. We're going to give you the selections. We're going to go through and give you the picks of each um, entity, and we're going to be keeping track of that. And at the end of it, we're going to find out what works the best and what might work best for you. So let's get started. Okay, guys, welcome to Odds Jam. Uh, OddsJam.com is a betting tool. It's a market tool that identifies or helps you identify uh, ideally the winning sides, totals, uh, money lines, all of the all of the bets that you can possibly imagine. And we'll get into it more as we go forward. But what I'm going to do for today's purpose is the in our study is what we'll do is we would actually this is a normal daily thing. You would go into the say the positive expected value tab to look at some of the uh, games going on and you can see here on the left hand side um, these percentages and today's games and we can kind of scroll through here and see if there's anything of interest we're probably going to avoid some of this large money line type thing here but uh, this you know we're going to get some interesting things here with the total points and also down into some of the NBA games now actually I did place a wager earlier um, but the point of that is these move quick. So what you see now may not be, you know, around a little bit later. And one thing that we did look at, we actually got in on the over 217 of this Lakers Rockets game. But what you would do is you would actually consider if the odds jam perfect lines at a minus 124, but yet you can get it at a minus 110. That's a nice little saving. So certainly if that market with, with, uh, the, you know, the pinnacle, pinnacle area is, uh, hedge that way you certainly don't want to be against them if anytime you want to be with them and that would be how you would play that contrarily in this particular scenario um if the uh, odds jam perfect line was at minus 114 and you could get that same thing um you know about a better price you would you would do it so that's that's kind of how you use this tool so uh what we'll do is we'll just kind of look at one one game here now and what we'll do is we'll, we'll consider this pistons uh bucks over 210 Again, it's minus 144 at uh, the perfect line, but yet we can pick that up at Rivers or at Barstool at minus 127. So that's going to be one of the plays that we'll look at today is the over 210, and you can do alternative lines, alternative totals, things like that. And again, the other one that we picked up earlier was the uh, the uh, Lakers-Houston, I believe, total. So we'll put those two in our report. Actually, we had over 217 in the Lakers-Houston and then we are going to be using the over 210, uh, over 210 in this Milwaukee Detroit game for the couple of selections at Odds Jam. Coming up next, we have the Wolf Line. Okay, guys, welcome to the Wolf Line. The Wolf Line is the only quantitative sports analytics app or uh, site that you have that's out there. And what it is, it's it's charts and graphs and color codings and things like that. They're going to help you identify where you would want to be or not be on a potential game. And you'll see here in a minute, the the, uh, the charts and graphs we're going to pull up here in a minute for a game as we find one sort of interesting. And um, if we like anything, we'll be able to pull this up. But I want to look at, say, this Detroit Red Wings Montreal game. When you click on the game, as you can see here on the spread, these are upticks and downticks according to how the market has moved, and uh, it's, a, it's a tool that you can get involved with and use in every game. Now, today's a very small slate. We don't happen to have any selections going off today, but I just wanted to open this up and show you how you can use this to identify, hey, are the Red Wings potentially kind of in an overbought situation here? Are they kind of on the rise? Maybe you want to go against that, whereas you're potentially looking for Montreal to have sort of an uptick back here uh, on this side of things. And keep in mind, you can use this for basketball, football, uh, all of it. And what I would recommend is is on your um, 
days like this, we have a small slate, a slow state slate. Maybe get over to the college football. As you see here, there's 57 games. And uh, get in there and look at the charts and the graphs of everything that you could identify as potential plays for the upcoming week. So that way you're prepared and ready to go. We'll just pull these up so you can see a few of them as we're going through this. But again, no selections today from the Wolf line. But I um, just want to show you the tool. And again, get over for a free uh, trial on this. What you'll see is anytime you see the red and the orange color markings, those are sort of some indicators that you might want to open up this chart and say, hey, what's going on here with this total? You know, you can see periods back. Um, the the ability, or let's see, I say the ability, the ability to play the over. Uh, as you can see here, uh, down ticks uh, for both teams cause this to go down. The both teams, lots and lots of unders. And so, again, is there going to be a correction to this? You have a correction and a momentum area with this uh, tool. So lots to it, lots to go on. But again, no selections today for the Wolf Line. We'll be back tomorrow with a, a selection with the Wolf Line. But also don't forget your free trial basis. Uh, get over there and get signed up and get started. Let them know that SBU sent you. Okay, guys, in this study, we had mentioned we have a couple of market tools, market uh I guess methods, which would be the Wolf Line quantitative analytics app, and also Odds Jam, who's helping us with market uh, scenarios as far as pricing and the best place to find your wager. But onto the computer, uh, I guess prediction type type products. You know, you, it's not handicappers. It's it's basically computers and the simulations. And uh, the first one we have here is the Action Network. And Action Network has several reports. They have several. Um, I guess strategies or methods that they use. One thing they put out in their in their pro section is the the projections report. And today's pick, they you can see here if you can barely see, it, I'll try to make this thing bigger going forward. But um, they grade this game out, the Ohio and the Miami of Ohio college football game tonight, as a B minus. So not a lot of edge there, about a 4.9 percent edge. They feel in their report. So if a person was to play this game, uh, they would play Ohio plus seven and a half. So we'll put that into our records and see how they do keeping track of this. Uh, coming up next is another uh, Action Network uh, tool that they have offered, and we'll uh, go through that next. So the next one that Action Network offers is a systems pick, and we'll do this uh, very frequently. Um, what this basically does is you can put in parameters. If you have a system, and it'll identify the game for you so you don't have to search it out. It does a lot of the handicapping and research for you. There were not any picks for today's systems. It's a very small slate here on a Tuesday, but going forward, you'll probably have several games a day, uh, especially on, on especially on uh, Saturdays and Sundays with the, with the football weekend. Next up is BetQL. BetQL is a company that talks about their best bets and their sharp bets, and they have five star, four star, three star, two star, etc., one star. So we do have the college football and the NFL games available. We do not have the basketball games. So we'll have the college bets for you. My question with this is always, why would a person, if they're paying for the service, um, play a two-star or one-star, you know, whatever the case. But we will be tracking and tracing the uh, five-star selections that they offer for college football and also for the NFL. And then when the football's wrapped up, we'll uh, we'll go over to the basketball side of things. But BetQL is one that a lot of people probably heard of. It's marketed quite often, and you see it around a lot. So we're going to track and trace them. I did do some tracking and tracing last week, uh, and they were about 500 on uh, those picks. It's kind of funny because their best bets sometimes are the exact opposite uh, of their so-called sharp plays. <laughs> So uh, we'll be talking about that one going forward. thought you might find it interesting. All right, more companies with the computer-generated picks, the simulations, you know, the, hey, we run this game 10,000 times, and here's what it produces. And so, again, I'm just pulling off the four-star selections, the alleged best possible, um, you know, wagers that these companies have. And there's three games today. Um, the AccuScore has, and AccuScore is currently showing the Utah Jazz minus nine tonight as a four-star pick. They say that that hits about 53.8% of the time. The next one here is the New Orleans Pelicans at a plus 11. They say that hits at a four-star at about 67.5%. And the third game here that qualified with a four-star um, was the over 212 in the um, uh, Dallas-Miami game. Interestingly enough, that's a game um, that we had the over two. What was it? Uh, no, I'm sorry, with the Lakers game, the other one. So, so it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of matches up and pans out with those three alleged four-star Ac AccuScore picks. We'll be keeping track of all these, keeping records, and on a daily basis you can check in and see what these these picks are and get the records and the uh, year-to-date uh, totals. 
So next up with the simulations is the NBA game sim. And what I have done here is pulled the daily charts off of this and kind of gone through and highlighted some of the information here that I find kind of interesting. You see here that they, uh, Milwaukee's favored by four, but yet they project Detroit to actually win the game 63% of the time. Um, and, and it shows their projected total or game game uh, score of 110 to 104. So this is going to help you with sides and totals. Um, Again, we'll be tracking and tracing these. We'll probably just try to pick the best one of each day. And at this particular point, what I'm what I'm going to go with, and I'll re, let me explain this, is is that they would have the Miami Heat by two and a half, winning seventy four point three percent of the time by twelve point three points or more. So I got a big check mark there, right? I got a big check mark here. Is this after assessing all the other choices that seems to stand out the most as being their quote unquote best possible pick of the day. So we're going to go with that and we'll be keeping calculations and, and uh, keeping track of how they do in our study. This was the totals for game sim. And earlier I showed you the point spreads um, and then potential money line games. What I've done here is again, what, done some quick uh, research to, to kind of cover what these lines here kind of means it's sort of even so you know the total here is 210 uh, this is roughly 214 not a big variance what I found out in here is all these would potentially go under according to the the total of the game today is 221 uh, and a half with the Utah Sacramento game they have it at about 218 so there's about a three-point variance there. The biggest variance that we've, we had and we, we're going to go with to calculate and keep track is if you're a person playing this and using this tool, you would more than likely go with the under in the Pelican Suns game. And there was about a six-point variance in what their projection is with the total. So we hit a check mark, and that's why we're going with that particular game. So again, we'll be keeping track of all these so you can check in on a daily basis, not only get to get these picks and these selections, but also to see how they're doing, you know, to kind of track all these different resources. And uh, next up, we have a model and some models that I think you're going to find very interesting. So I put, check this out. This, and it's hard to see, so I completely apologize, but this is, I believe, 30 plus models, uh, betting models that are out there like Sagarin, um, you know, the ES ESPN F FPI, uh, which is ranked about 38th in the country as far as these stats. The best one out there is a Dave Cosgrove, and hits actually hitting 51 point something percent ATS. So the number one best one is is hitting 51 point something percent of its games. And so I guess I bring this up just to point out that I can track and trace these 39 uh, computer systems, but none of them are remotely even worth it i mean it's just a joke so i wanted to bring that up and show you this because we have another one for the nfl that we'll show you here next this is college football they have them in all sports but i just wanted to bring this up as an example that uh you probably don't want to waste your time on some of these uh companies this is the nfl um projection and again here most people are familiar with sagarin they're you know they've got some other ones here the dunkel index the, all these different indexes and 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 uh i've tracked and traced these in the past and i just bring this up to show you because i think many sports betters have probably seen this in the old usa todays right the old uh usa todays would carry this and have this information pretty pretty available um i don't find any of them to be consistent and reliable uh, but I want to again point this out just in our study of something that um, we could cover but to me it seems like a complete waste of time and sort of moving on to the to the AI the computer simulations the handicapping services and my, my biggest uh, my biggest proponent is certainly in the market re research is the market tools but I just want to bring this up and show you as an example of what we could cover but uh, don't want to waste our time and I hope you don't either all right, guys, so here we go. This is the handicapping services. Now, I have about 20 to 25 handicapping services, a lot of them that people have heard of um, through marketing, all of the Internet and that kind of thing. And what I've done is I've able to access their 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 paid picks. They're um, not just the free selections that everyone can get, but these are actually the paid services selections. So the verbiage in some of these is a little bit different. And what I have done is... Um, taking about the top 20, 25, and then out of that 20, 25 each day, I will take the top five. So, for example, in college football, I'm giving you the Georgia, the Alabama, uh, you know, the top top three, four, five. And then if um, a capper in their records as we keep the uh, year-to-date and daily records – uh, falls down and, and the other ones are coming up just like in college football as the polls, you know, go up and down. I will um, always give you the top five and the top five selections 
each day, each week as we go. It's just impossible to, to put out, you know, the 25, 30 handicapping services selections and, and have everyone keep track of that. So I think this is going to help you focus as well on a daily basis where you can uh, tune in and check some of this out. So uh, I put it under <clears throat> the capper and, and some initials and some names, sort of some code names. And as we track and trace these, if anybody wants to know specifically who they are, then you can always contact me at info at sportsbetuniversity.com. But as you can see here, the first one here, uh, SSD, seven units tied on the Houston Astros money line. Um, HARs, uh, Miami Heat minus two. Had another one of the Miami Heat as MBS is on the, on the Heat as well. It's always kind of interesting when you have a couple of these top cappers on the same game. Typically, that's kind of a sign. But again, do with it what you want. Uh, another one has a, a percentage play. So typically... He'll do like a 3, 4, and 5% play, so a pretty strong play here on the New Jersey Devils tonight, the money line. And also uh, Capper JBS in the, the four spot there. He is uh, on the Detroit Red Wings money line, plus 120. So I um, I think this is going to be interesting, and we'll be following it each day and updating it each day, so hopefully you tune in and get some good information from this. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll be back tomorrow with the next uh, Sports Bank University picks study. This is the study of what's best, what works best, what's best for you, whether it's the markets tools such as Odds Jam and the Wolf Line, such as the game simulation computer systems that uh, we have through the various um, um, like it's companies and, and uh, entities and also the handicapping services. And um, I think it's going to be really interesting to keep track of these as we go. We'll be doing this for 30 days. And so make sure you give us a like, a share, and uh, pass this along to anybody you might think is interested in following along. And thank you, thank you, thank you for your viewership. Make sure you join the channel. Make sure you leave some comments below so we can answer any questions you might have. And we'll talk to you soon.